Two weeks ago, we saw terrible images of the behaviour of a tiny minority of young people. But in marked contrast today, we can celebrate the achievement of the majority of hard-working and diligent youngsters up and down the country. These results are down to the hard work of pupils, the dedication of their teachers uh, and the support of their parents. Gaining GCSE passes is a tremendous achievement and it's key to moving on to the next stage. Pupils can rightly be proud today. But we have to make sure as a government that we prepare young people for their future, whether they are going on to further education or training or into the workplace. Our job is to make sure that our qualifications and education system match the best in the world and that they ensure that every child has the opportunity to succeed. And while it's certainly encouraging to see the rising uptake in maths and single sciences in today's results, it's worrying that once again there are falling numbers studying languages. And in history and geography again it's concerning to see falling numbers of entrants. These are all important core academic subjects that universities tell us help students onto the best courses. And they're the subjects that employers demand. We believe very strongly that all children have the right to a broad and balanced education that includes English, maths, science, a language and a humanity. That's why we're introducing the English Baccalaureate, a combination of GCSEs in these subjects, so that every child regardless of their background, has that opportunity. And we've set out comprehensive reforms to drive up standards across the education system. We're giving teachers the powers they need to improve behaviour and discipline in schools. We're reforming the curriculum so that it's on a par with the best in the world. And we're getting the most able graduates into teaching and raising the status of the entire teaching profession, giving them the greater freedom they need to get on and do what they do best, which is teach. But today is a day to say to hundreds of thousands of young people collecting their GCSE results, many congratulations.